Isaiah 53 to 4 to 12 K Davy surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb so he openeth not his mouth taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Thank you for what you have been doing since the beginning of the year. Thank you for life, thank you for strength, thank you for victories, thank you for success, thank you for promotion, thank you for restoration. Lord Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. Once again, we commit this meeting into your hands, take it away from me, take it away from us. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him, he hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. spirit and their life. Now that was, that is Jesus Christ. Even you, the ones you are also speaking, their spirits and their life. And we explained it here yesterday. Before people make any move, before you make any decision, you must have spoken out something. Oh, and I have some money, I want to build a beautiful house. I've gotten a plot of land, I want to... Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, 
and made intercession for the transgressors. You know you have spoken so something out. But tomorrow, after I close from work, I'm going to branch at the shopping mall. I'm going to pass through the market. I'm going to pick up some things. You know, you know, everything comes before any action. It is, every action follows the word. Hallelujah. So you also you are a good of the word. That's why we said yesterday. The pillar of support to every being starts with his family, neighbors, friends, associates colleagues and even strangers everyone is a support and a helping hand to one another is your name there <laughs> the book of life i'm not talking of the book of death the book of life is your name there now before i go to the fullness of explanation of the book of life let me explain to you you apply for employment in a multinational company the reason why those who stand alone or lonely suffer excruciating experiences, needless and mindless struggle in life which ordinarily, it should not be so. Considering the state of humanity under the yoke of oppression from demonic and satanic orchestrations. Thank God today, technology is there. You just open your application, you open the system, and you go to the, the thing is on your system, on your phone, on your tab, on anything. You can just flip through it and see who are those that have been admitted, either in the place of work or in the school or in the institution. Wallowing in sin, iniquity, bondage, sickness, ignorance, repression, poverty of the spirit, soul and body. God had to send his only begotten son as sacrifice for redemption and salvation from the clutches of the dominion of darkness and be engrafted into the... You know how excited you will be, I'm sure. Oh, they're going to pay me about half a million dollars every month, a million dollars every month. You know, you get extremely excited. So, you are when they have your child in that school, you get excited. Why? Because you know it's a place of progress. It's a place Into the kingdom of his marvelous light. As a matter of fact, it's a place of life too. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's true. You might not believe it. You go, you go and body, you want to go and you want to take a flight outside your country, you want to go overseas. When you get to the airport, to get this assignment done, all you have read in the above scriptures, he had to pass through them. What an awesome sacrifice to pay for all, both grateful and ungrateful. Luke 10, 35 to 37 KJV, and on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. When it now becomes your turn to go, and eventually go, and they say, okay, well, you know, you definitely, something is happening there. You know, I told you several, and I've explained this several times before. I said, nobody dies. Which now of these three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, he that shewed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, go, and do thou likewise. And what happens to the body, they go and bury it in the graveyard. And that body, you don't need it on the other, you don't need it on the other side, they don't even use it there. So, the, 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 in, the, in that body, the, the, the body we are using right now is called terrestrial body. I've explained this several before. And the body you use on the other side is called celestial body, spiritual body. That's the garment you now put on. Immediately we share this, this garment and they take it to the graveyard and bury it. That's the end of it. It's just like this, my cloth. Once I'm done with it, I just take it off. So you just take it off, your spiritual.
Jesus Christ came as an exemplary leader, redeemer, restorer, savior, healer, victor, for humanity and a wonderful neighbor. You two should go and do likewise. Do have a fruitful week, AOD. opportunity to hear it and I always tell people you will hear it forever after some time the word will not come again the opportunity has gone a lot of people would have missed it so that's why the Bible says anytime you hear his word which is your life do not harden your heart and say no I'm not going to listen I'm not going to do it I'm not going to follow them they are being deceived they are this they are that castigating, spoils come, abuses on those whom the one that is recording your name in the book of life has sent. That's what a lot of people do. So, he says, that's the, the, the first death. The Bible records is when you die here and you go to the other side. Where your name is either there or not. If your name is not there, it will be in the book of darkness. Definitely. May you not, it will not be your portion. I'm not praying that for you. It will never happen. Your name will be found in the name of Jesus, in the book of life. But for it to be found in the book of life, the step towards being found there starts today. Starts now. It starts. So the first death is the physical death. You die, you share this garment. The second death is the other side which is those who go into damnation with those in the kingdom of darkness those who go into life with god that's why they call it the book of life with god they don't go into the second day they don't die a second time and i also also said yesterday i said in the in the physical there are so many people who are like walking corpses on earth they are not dead physically but their life is meaningless they keep turning the same roundabout all the time. They are on the same spot continually, no progress, making so much moves but no progress. And we, 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 we explained how to move forward at that level yesterday. 
if you are if you are not you want to get more information on that is on my system i posted it yesterday i posted a video it's on my tiktok video you can always go through it you can always download it you can always share it and listen to it anyway we are talking about the second death which qualifies your name to either be in the book of life and in the book of death now the second death look at what jesus christ said here in the, in the, in the book of uh, uh, what do you call it isaiah chapter 49 isaiah 49 look at what it says here verse 23 is 23 to 25 it says and the kings shall be thy nursing fathers the kings shall be thy nursing fathers and the, and their queens thy nursing mothers they sh- by the way all women in the house today on board today happy mother's day i greet you and i salute you happy mother's day to you all god bless you for coming and the queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet i want you to follow me carefully i will explain lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that i am the lord for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me hallelujah they shall not be ashamed that wait for me you are traveling right from your country one side of the world continent and you are traveling to another continent by air you would have had an idea of what that other continent will be and how it will also be for you will depend on so many factors how prepared are you for that fit for that place you probably have gotten accommodation hotel accommodation you probably have some good resources in your hand to spend while you are there you have arranged all the various meetings different days and all that all those things would have been done in preparation for that place now jesus christ god is saying in this place those who wait for me from here from this planet earth they will begin to exercise their dominion over the affairs of their lives they begin to exercise because they are with god they are waiting on god god is their director God is the one ordering their steps. God is the one instructing their lives. God is the one giving them instruction. In Psalm 32 verse 8 he said I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way you shall go. I will guide you with my own eyes. So they are already being instructed and they are obeying instructions. They are being taught, they are obeying instruction uh, the, the teachings and they are submitting themselves for guidance. Those who submit themselves to instruction who submit self to his teaching and those who allow themselves to be guided bible says they will have dominion over the affairs of life over the challenges of life remember in the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 28 he said you shall be fruitful hallelujah you shall multiply you shall replenish five things you shall subdue fourth one and the last one you shall have dominion over everything on earth that's what he said he didn't say sickness will have dominion over you he didn't say challenges of life will have sub, will subdue you he didn't say you will not be fruitful he didn't say you shall not replenish he didn't say you will only so so much and reap so little by not multiplying he didn't say that he said you shall be fruitful you shall multiply you shall replenish you shall subdue and you shall have dominion you shall have dominion over all issues of life nothing is capable or allowed to pull you down including sicknesses and diseases including all activities of those in the kingdom of darkness it is not within their power to pull you down hallelujah that's why he gave that church so those who wait on him will have exercised dominion 
You won't be running help that get that to the hospital. I'm, I'm sick today. I need to go to the hospital. I am weak. I, am, I have no strength. I'm discouraged. I, no, 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 no. I'm losing my mind. It will be your. It will never. That's what God is saying. He said, "Those who wait on me shall not be ashamed." Hallelujah. Are you waiting on God, or you are waiting on your spouse, or your boss? or your friends or your colleagues it's not this bad to wait on them but wait on god first then he will choose your bodies for you he will choose your place of work for you he will choose a spouse for you he will choose he will be gone the one that will be giving direction hallelujah see it is a good place to be in life when you are subject to the dictates and direction of the Most High God. Sit down, you sit down. Go, you go. This is when you, you are to marry, you marry that one. This is one place you are to work, you go and work there. This is the people you must associate with, you go associate with those people. These are the people you must not associate, you disengage from them. Those who follow those instructions and obey them, their life is always very sweet. There is no iota of bitterness in their lives. None. Because even if challenges of life comes, even if challenges of all things, all things, things, all 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 that is a bit disturbing to you. Bible says it will turn around for your good. Now let me continue. Verse 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Isn't a lot of people are being held captive today by whatever. Name it. They are in captivity. Or the love of captivity. Do that. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Hallelujah. May God deliver you from whatever might be tying you in that name of Jesus. That unholy thing that is tying you down, may God deliver you from. May God deliver you from disobedience. May God deliver you from sin. May God deliver you from iniquity. May God deliver you from wrong association, may God deliver you from the wrong relationship, may God deliver you from the in the name of Jesus. The love of God shall be given, shall be taken away, shall be given. For I will contend with them that contend with me, and I will seek them that I will seek them. God says he will contend with you, contend with you, and I say that to you. Why am I reading this? The reason why I'm reading this to the book of life is where you are going with the other side, you begin to work for me. You begin to have direct You begin to have the inkling of where you are going. Yeah. You know, like I said to you, you are going overseas. You have had an idea. You have had some pictures. You have an idea of what the place will look like. If you, have, if you don't have a visa, if you don't have money, if you don't have hotel booking, you already know you are going to face a lot of hardship. If you don't know anybody there, you already have an idea that that place is going to be a difficult place, right? The same thing with on the other side, how you prepare for the other side. What it will look like to begin to know from now. And how do you know? It is by your association with God. Who you are even going to meet on the other side that will begin to give direction, dictates, instruction, teaching, and guidance in your life. See, you, you cannot go and miss somebody you don't know on the other side. Likewise, you want to travel, you are not prepared, you don't know anybody in that country. How do you know go, who, who are you going to meet there? You know you are already in for struggle by even taking that decision to travel to that country without doing anything. So, how that place will look like, 
begins, the relationship begins now. You cannot go to a God on the other side if you don't know from here. It's not possible. So he's the one saying, I will contend with those who contend with me, and I will say that she is. He will be making your life excellent, making your life beautiful, making you fulfill destiny for his purpose, and eventually also win to eternal life. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, you will see your name. I will be looking out for you. Thank you so much, everybody. And it will happen to everybody. Let me read the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. Chapter 3, verse 9 to the Lord, what is it said? And be found in him, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness. What is your own righteousness? That is it, our righteousness is our true life. But we engage and attach our own righteousness to the Lord, and the Lord is our own righteousness. And by the reason of the Lord, thank you so much for guiding me. Because generally, you are going to speak to the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. God bless you. I really appreciate you for joining us. God bless you for joining my life. So it's not your righteousness, but the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is of the Lord. But that, that, that which is true, the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God. You believe in the sacrifice you did on the cross of Calvary by the way. All that you did on the cross of Calvary, all of that sacrifice, and the restoration of the human relationship Let's go by verse 10. That can we know him at the time of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering to be made comfortable with all who he is dead. The power of resurrection, that I always say, death in as much as is the final step. Even as the very little. It's just a gamut of pieces from this other space to the other side. So, no one has a place of their freedom. Whenever it comes, you stand up for it. I'm great for you, you will not die before your time. You will just in the name of the deep to the life of the deep Jesus Christ. And you will be by the deep of the Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Is a means of transition from here to another higher being. That's why you need to be there so that you won't be like those who say at the end of the day of life, when they are about to do, they begin to see signs of gravity. So people are with me, with family members, we are there, and some friends, and we went to visit them for this program. All of a sudden, they just said, ah, who put on the line? In the afternoon, who put on the line? Addendum kindly press the middle paragraph twice. It will stop for you to read after reading press. Once it will continue to the next page and repeat saying till you finish reading, thanks.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Before that time comes, we are a lot of people with dread. A message like this is only for you to adjust to life, to examine your roots, change your lifestyle.